That's a very nice sound. Absolutely. He is one quarter. He is one quarter of the hottest band in the world. I'm talking about Kiss, and he's also doing the title role of the Toronto production of Phantom of the Opera till uh, August 1st here in Toronto. Please welcome Paul Stanley. Thank you. A good friend of Much Music, whether you like it or not. I'm going to say that right off the bat. As long here. as Much Music is more than a fair weather friend, that's my kind of friend. See, because I, I know that you say we don't play your Kiss videos enough. I, I say we do. But I've always found that whenever I come into town with the band, all of a sudden, we're all over. And then yes. afterwards, everybody says, yeah. you can't find it. Yeah. So if, if, they, if they had their way, they'd want to see Kiss 24 hours a day, seven yeah. days a week. And what's wrong with that? <laughs> and what's wrong with that? OK. I think there's a new cable a new cable channel we should Kiss do. TV? Kiss TV. <laughs> anyway, um, you take pleasure. You've made a career of taking pleasure of surprising people. Yeah. And the, the, the evolution continues with the Phantom. Yeah, you know, for me, I never want to be stuck in someone else's idea of what I'm supposed to do or can't do. And uh, for me, the challenge is always to find something that's exciting. To me, if you're scared, it means that you're doing something good. I mean, you're pushing the envelope. I don't want to do things that come so easy. I mean, it's easy to just keep doing the same thing over and over. But at the same time you're doing that, it's really great to find something else. And when I saw Phantom for the first time, I think it was about 10 years ago, I just, I was in London. I said, that's on the list, you know? And uh, when I got a call in January, if I was interested in doing it, I said, absolutely. So I had to go to New York and do a full on audition, which is amazing because I can't remember the last time I did an audition, but I got the job. And so far, I haven't gotten a pink slip, so I'm back there again tonight. So this has been this has been something that you want to do for a long time, then. Oh yeah, yeah. Any other things that you're wanting to do that is on the back burner that you want to divulge now? Well, I'd like to go into politics, it, but uh, no, I, you know, probably theater would be a really great, you know, really fun, fun okay. to do. Well, I'm gonna talk more about the Phantom uh, a little bit later, but for those of you in the Toronto area, you have to log us first to see uh, Paul Stanley as the Phantom of the Opera at the Pantages Theater. For outside of Toronto. We're going to give you just a little snippet. This was, this was opening night. We yes. were there with the camera. Yeah. And uh, here it is right here. Paul Stanley as the Phantom. <laughs> Let your mind start a journey through a strange new world. Leave all parts of the world you knew before. Let your soul take you where you long. Only then can you belong to me. Oh, he was, he was amazing. 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 I've never, ever heard his voice like that. I've seen Phantom on Broadway. I've seen it five different times. I thought Paul Stanley's vocal range was extremely excellent. He had a really good voice. I've seen uh, Kiss twice in concert, so I really know Paul Stanley. Beautiful show. It was absolutely fantastic. I'm very happily surprised with Paul Stanley. Help me make the music So that little kid in there was about five. He had that bandage on his head. I paid him. What did you do to him? I paid him. OK. I paid him. To, I paid all those people to say how good I was. So the first time that kid saw you was probably when he was one, and maybe the second time was about three. He said he saw well, he knows a, He knows a lot about Paul Stanley. Yeah. And it was great, because sitting in the audience, there was this huge difference in ages. Well, it's really great, because you know, for so long, I really think theaters had this connotations of being something for well-to-do people, or people who sit there and clap like that. And theater really started out, Shakespeare was writing for the common people. He wasn't writing for, you know, the upper crust. So theater is something that should be enjoyed the same way films are. And um, Phantom is such a great vehicle for people to go get introduced to theater because it's spectacle, it's great music, there's a lot of drama. It's something that everybody can relate to. So I would like everybody to come and see this. Well, the drive to do something like this, you know, we talked about it being a dream of yours for a while. From what I understand, the first, one of the first legs of the Cycle Circus tour ended. You, you hopped on a plane to Toronto, started doing rehearsals. You don't have to tour anymore. You don't have to do something like this anymore. But that drive is still there. Well, you know, 
At some point, when you make enough money, hopefully what it shows you is that you don't have to worry about money anymore. And then you can do things because you love doing them. If it was only about money, I probably would have quit a long time ago. But music's so much fun. And the challenges that are, you know, available to me are just so much fun. To do something like Phantom is, uh, you know, a dream come true. To pass by the theater and see my name up there. And then every night to have a standing ovation is really what the whole cast has gotten. And the cast is phenomenal, you know. The show isn't only about me, you know. I couldn't do it without the people who are there, and the cast is uh, incredible, and was incredible before me, and will be incredible when I leave. Well, um, it's been described as the Phantom, especially with Paul doing it, is a lot like Kiss, because both are successful despite what critics are saying. Um, there's pyrotechnics involved, there's a lot of flash. Could you see yourself doing maybe something that wasn't so Kiss-like? Oh, sure. I, I, I think that the, the similarities are just by chance, you know. Um, obviously, I, I don't think I'll be doing the sound of music first, and, you know. But, uh, you know, Phantom is just a, a great musical. And once again, you know, the place is packed every day. And uh, audience are leaving, the audiences are leaving really thrilled. And that's really what it's about. You know, um, if critics like it, that's really good. But we should never forget that critics get free tickets. And if they like it, that's a bonus. But the people who pay their hard-earned money are really the ones that I want to satisfy. And so far, everybody's just been thrilled, which thrills me. Can you, um, can you tell who the KISS fans are in the audience during the show? Have you, have you seen it? Yeah! You know, it's, um, everybody's, I think initially when they hired me, some people were a little leery of what the show was going to turn into or that the audience was going to suddenly turn into a rock concert but it's, it's very much you know a, a theater experience and people are are very well behaved but at the same time they should be demonstrative and they should be vocal there's no reason when you hear something that you like you shouldn't clap if you find something funny you should laugh there's nothing that's inappropriate in the theater except to disturb the show okay now um I got, we were, much was on set for a lot of the filming of Detroit Rock City when Kiss was in town, and there was a scene at the Sky Dome, which was supposed to be backstage, and there was a lot of, uh, a lot of pretty girls walking around with very skimpy clothing. And, and we talked about this, and one of the things is that that was a lot like a Kiss backstage show. Mm -hmm. The, uh, the funness. Yes. Funness, if that is a, a word. wholesome recreation that most of us enjoy. Now, what was it like backstage at a fandom show? There's no hot tub. No, there's no hot okay. tub, you know. I tried to get one brought in, <laughs> but they said, I am now a thespian. Um, but, uh, you know, backstage, it's, um, everybody's getting ready for the show, and everybody, you know, it's very much a family. And it's a, a great experience for me, because I can't say enough good about Live End, you know, which is the company that's uh, put the show on and has been really a, a tremendous boost to the economy. You know, I mean, the, the amount of people who have bought tickets from the States and uh, just the exposure that they've given theater has been amazing. And again, I keep going back to the cast. They're just, they're so talented and they're so supportive. And uh, I'm a lucky guy. Absolutely. Has Gene uh, come up or Ace Gene or Peter? Yeah. Uh, no, nobody's been up yet. Those uh, bastards, why not? Hey, that's what I said. Um, they're coming. They're definitely okay. all coming, but they've been very busy. Everybody's been kind of kicking back since the tour ended. And, uh... Because they must be proud of you. I'm sure you've Oh, heard yeah. Something. Everybody's been so supportive, you know, and, and, uh, you know, the band's been fabulous, and everybody checks in to see how I'm doing. Okay. And, uh, it's, you know, it's great. This is really very exciting for me. Okay, well, uh, Kiss is not over. It's sort of on the back burner for now, because, uh, I understand in October the Cyclo Circus Tour resumes. We'll, we'll, we'll get back in gear. I'm not quite sure when. It could be October, it could be November, it could be December, but we're absolutely going back out. And, uh, we'll be back here. We'll be in Toronto. Uh, we'll be in Montreal. We'll be in Vancouver, you know. We, uh... And, and on the big screen in August, too, with Detroit Rock City. <laughs> Detroit Rock City, yeah. yeah. Detroit Rock City is really interesting because it's um, it's really not a Kiss film. It's much more a film about Kiss fans, and it's a uh, about a, a the '70s experience of four fans trying to get to a Kiss concert. It's kind of like Fast Times at Ridgemont High meets Porky's, as opposed to a Hard Day's Night. You know. And there will be a soundtrack to come. I yeah. was just reading that in the news. Yeah, and there's a, a great single that we'll be releasing um, 
in July okay. that uh, a friend of mine wrote. That's just an awesome song called Nothing Can Keep Me From You. Okay. And uh, if you do go see the film, check out the backstage scene, the yeah. hot tub. Yeah. That's yeah. One of my favorites. Yeah. It's wholesome. <laughs> Okay, and don't forget Phantom of the Opera here in Toronto. The Pantage is till August 1st, and that features Paul Stanley. Um, good to see you again. Hey, it's always great to see you. Okay, and uh, we're going to end up right now with, with some Psycho Circus. <laughs>